biodiversity, a term used to describe the variety of all life forms on Earth, including their habitats and the biological balance created by them in our ecological systems. Biodiversity enhances the productivity of ecosystems where all species, no matter how small or big, play an important role. Large number of plant species ensure a greater variety of crops, greater species diversity safeguards natural sustainability for all life forms. Also, healthy ecosystems can better endure and recover from a disaster. The planet's biodiversity is under threat and the main offender is the one who ironically depends on it the most, the human species. Slowing down the biodiversity loss is one of humanity's greatest challenges today. Amid the modern advancements and urbanization, we have neglected the health of our planet by overexploiting the natural resources, ignoring the fact that a healthy planet is important to support the functioning of all life forms. The space uh, that we occupy on this earth is limited. To make more space for ourselves, as soon as the population increases, we cut down the forests. As soon as we cut down the forests, there's less space for animals to live in the forest. And so that biodiversity automatically goes down with each animal having less space to occupy. That's, that is the uh, way that biodiversity is decreasing. Biodiversity is extremely, extremely important when we talk of large ecosystems, forest or uh, aquatic, it doesn't matter. It is the pivot on which the entire uh, ecosystem is standing. The growing numbers of humans has deeply altered the environment and many human activities have been attributed for the degradation and loss of biodiversity and natural resources. So the human activities in the form of overexploitation or you do the expansion of agriculture activities to the forest areas or you can say that habitat fragmentation without taking care of the biodiversity conservation, particularly the plant diversity conservation, then what happens, uh, our species is lost. Agricultural expansion has been a major contributor towards the land use change, with over one third of the land surface being used for cropping and animal husbandry. While the population of our planet continues to grow exponentially, the land mass remains constant. Numerous forests across the globe have been leveled to accommodate the increasing population also leading to over-exploitation of natural resources, disrupting the ecosystems around us and causing tremendous loss to biodiversity. Forests are <clears throat> being lost at a very rapid pace all over the world. And particularly, uh, these uh, losses are mostly the conversion of forest lands to non-forestry purposes, such as major is agriculture, the dependency of our increasing population on the forests is considered as a direct cause of deforestation. This includes clearing forests for production of crops like rice, maize, cotton, sugarcane and catering to the needs of livestock. As the global demand for meat is rising, the quantity of livestock is also increasing to fulfill this demand. Hence, millions of acres of forest covers are cleared to create grazing pastures for these animals. Logging is attributed to be one of the frontline drivers for deforestation. The increased demand for wooden products is leading to increased logging for timber and teak for creation of furniture and other household items. Many smaller trees are chopped off for the production of charcoal, used as fuel by many people. Yet another human activity that is destroying our forest cover is mining. 
In addition to the loss of forest covers, the poisonous chemicals used in the process of mining degrade the quality of the soil and end up in rivers and water bodies polluting them and harming the ecosystem of the rivers. Spread across an extensive area of more than 6.5 million square kilometers, it's often referred to as lungs of our planet. The Amazon forest today faces an unprecedented threat to its existence. According to World Wildlife Fund, around 17% of the Amazon rainforest has been lost in the past 50 years. And with the continuing trends of deforestation, 27% of the Amazon will be without trees by 2030. The figures that are, in, are, are looking straight in our face are quite gory. Um, nearly one-fifth of the Amazon rainforest has got degraded in the last 15 years and the rate of degradation has only gone up now. Experts warn that decades of unsustainable human activities is bringing the Amazon forest near a tipping point. The trees have been cut down for timber. Land has been mined for minerals and valuables, and areas completely cleared off for cattle ranching. India lost about 38.5 thousand hectares of its forest cover between 2019 and 2020, and a decrease of 0.67% in tree cover was recorded across the country. The Aravali range of India spans 692 kilometers, starting from the western state of Gujarat, running through Rajasthan, Haryana and terminating in the national capital, Delhi. According to a report by Comptroller and Auditor General of India, CAG, it has been under continuous threat from increasing human population, uncontrolled grazing of cattle, illegal mining, encroachments, unrestricted development, deforestation and land degradation. Mumbai's RA also raked up the classic development versus environment debate when more than 2,000 trees were officially axed down over a proposed car shed for the Mumbai Metro Rail Corporation in 2019. After citizen protests intensified, India's top court, the Supreme Court, stepped in to save the trees. Another reason attributed to loss of forest covers are the fires caused as a result of climate change and deforestation. The Australian bushfires of 2019 to 2020 are considered to be one of the most devastating and worst disasters encountered by the Australian forest cover and wildlife. The raging bushfires across Australia harmed nearly 143 million mammals, 2.46 billion reptiles, around 180 million birds and more than 50 million frogs, and burnt about 1.8 million hectares of forest cover. In India also, we hear about the forest fires in our forested areas, in plains, in mountains, in any kind of forest system, you can find these forest fires, but these are much more damaging in the mountain areas, in the fragile hilly areas, because particularly those, the coniferous trees, the pine, for example, they have this turpentine, which burns very fast when there are forest fires. So they damage the whole forests at one go. As per experts, climate change and deforestation as a result of the growing numbers of human population are drying out forests, making them more vulnerable to fires. Biodiversity conservation is not only important for the perfect functioning of our ecosystems, but also for the continuous existence of the human species. Mobius Foundation, a non-profit organization promoting environmental sustainability through sustainable resources, launched Project Sanjeevani towards increasing the green cover in the state of Haryana. Project Sanjeevani has been taken up to increase the number of trees uh, that human beings plant 
to increase the oxygen levels as well as to uh, absorb the carbon dioxide. This is a very important portion because we involve the community in uh, uh, planting extra trees. Launched in two phases, the first phase was initiated on the 7th of June 2018, marking the plantation of 5,000 saplings around the villages of Sonipat and Panipat in Haryana. There are two places where we are planting trees. One is in Haryana, where we engage the farming community, the student community and the village community to see that the trees survive in the long run. So far, we have 60% survival rate, which is very good uh, for survival rate uh, amongst, the, amongst the trees. The other place where we are planting trees is in the district of Kurg in Karnataka. We have 120 acres of barren land where we have taken 20 acres to plant endemic trees as well as local trees. Uh, endemic trees are those trees which are endangered species in the Western Ghat area. And we have uh, another place, uh, Napoka, in, uh, in the Kurg districts where we are planting these trees and involving the community in the survival. With the success of Phase 1, the second phase of the project was launched on the 8th of April 2019, expanding the reach of the program. Numerous organizations are fighting to save trees. Give Me Trees Trust, a Delhi-based NGO that volunteers in planting trees, has planted more than 20 million trees across the nation in order to increase the green cover.